The Pour le Merit Pouel Me, it, French, literally, for merit, is an order of merit German, Verdienstorden, established in 1740 by King Frederick II of Prussia. The Pour le Merit was awarded as both a military and civil honor and ranked, along with the Order of the Black Eagle, the Order of the Red Eagle and the House Order of Hohenzollern, among the highest orders of merit in the Kingdom of Prussia. After 1871, when the various German kingdoms, grand duchies, duchies, principalities and Hanseatic city-states had come together under Prussian leadership to form the federally structured German Empire, the Prussian honours gradually assumed, at least in public perception, the status of honours of Imperial Germany, even though many honours of the various German states continued to be awarded. The Pour le Merit was an honor conferred both for military 1740 to 1918 and civil 1740 to 1810 after 1842 as a separate class services. It was awarded strictly as a recognition of extraordinary personal achievement, rather than as a general marker of social status or a courtesy honor, although certain restrictions of social class and military rank were applied. The order was secular, and membership endured for the remaining lifetime of the recipient, unless renounced or revoked. New awards of the military class known in First World War informally as the Blue Max German, Blauer Max ceased with the end of the Prussian monarchy in November 1918. The civil class was revived as an independent organization in 1923 Paul Merit für und Künste. Instead of the King of Prussia, the President of Germany acted as head of the order. After the Second World War, the civil class was re-established in 1952. This version of the Pour le Merit is still active today. The Pour le Merit is still an order into which a person is admitted into membership, like the United Kingdom's Order of the British Empire, and is not simply a medal or state decoration. German author Ernst Jünger, who died in 1998, was the last living recipient of the Military Class Award. History Topic Origins The Paul Le Merit was founded in 1740 by King Frederick II of Prussia. It was named in French, which was the leading international language and the favoured language at Frederick's court. The French name was retained, despite the rising tide of nationalism and increasing hostility between French and Germans during the 19th century, and ironically many of its recipients were honoured for acts performed in wars against France. The insignia of the military award was a blue enameled Maltese cross with golden eagles between the arms which is based on the symbol of the Johanniter order and the Prussian royal cipher and the words pour le merit for merit in French written in gold letters on the body of the cross The ribbon was black with edge stripes of silver white the order consisted of only one class, both civil and military, until 1810. Only a few civilians were honored, Pierre-Louis Maupère Thuy Francesco Algarotti and Voltaire Military <inaudible> <inaudible> class <inaudible> 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 In January 1810, during the Napoleonic Wars, King Frederick William III decreed that the award could be presented only to serving military officers. 
In March 1813, the king added an additional distinction, a spray of gilt oak leaves attached above the cross. A ward of the oak leaves originally indicated extraordinary achievement in battle, and was usually reserved for high-ranking officers. The original regulations called for the capture or successful defense of a fortification, or victory in a battle. By World War I, the oak leaves often indicated a second or higher award of the Paul Le Merit, though in most cases the recipients were still high-ranking officers, usually distinguished field commanders fitting the criteria above. The few lower-ranking recipients of the oak leaves were mainly general staff officers responsible for planning a victorious battle or campaign. In early 1918, it was proposed to award the oak leaves to Germany's top flying ace, Manfred von Richthofen, but he was deemed ineligible under a strict reading of the regulations. Instead, Prussia awarded von Richthofen a slightly less prestigious honor, the Order of the Red Eagle, third class with crown and swords. This was still a high honor, as the third class was normally awarded to colonels and lieutenant colonels, and von Richthofen's award was one of only two of the third class with crown and swords during World War I. In 1866, a special military Grand Cross class of the award was established. This grade of the award was given to those who, through their actions, caused the retreat or destruction of an army. There were only five awards of the Grand Cross, to King Wilhelm I in 1866, to Crown Prince Frederick William of Prussia later Emperor Frederick III and Prince Frederick Charles of Prussia in 1873, to Tsar Alexander II of Russia in 1878, and to Helmut Graf von Moltke in 1879. The Paul Le Merit gained international fame during World War I. Although it could be awarded to any military officer, its most famous recipients were the pilots of the German Army Air Service, Luftstreitkraft, whose exploits were celebrated in wartime propaganda. In aerial warfare, a fighter pilot was initially entitled to the award upon downing eight enemy aircraft. Aces Max Immelmann and Oswald Bulk were the first airmen to receive the award, on January 12, 1916. It was awarded to Germany's highest scoring ace, Manfred von Richthofen, in January 1917. Although it has been reported that because of Immelmann's renown among his fellow pilots and the nation at large, the Paul Le Merit became known, due to its color and Immelmann's first name, as the Blue Max, that has not been confirmed. The number of aerial victories necessary to receive the award continued to increase during the war. By early 1917, it generally required destroying 16 enemy airplanes, and by war's end, the approximate figure was 30. However, other aviation recipients included Zeppelin commanders, bomber and observation aircrews, and at least one balloon observer. Recipients of the Blue Max were required to wear the award whenever in uniform. Although many of its famous recipients were junior officers, especially pilots, more than a third of all awards in World War I went to generals and admirals. Senior officer awards tended to be more for outstanding leadership in combat than for individual acts of bravery. Junior officers, army captains and lieutenants and their navy equivalents accounted for only about a fourth of all awards. Several famous lieutenant ranked Captain Lieutenant U-boat commanders, including Lothar von Arnold de la Perriere, U-35, Walter Schwieger, U-20, Otto Hersing, U-21, and Otto Wedigan, received the Paul Le Merit. 
The last new member admitted to the military class of the order was Flying Ace Theo Osterkamp, on 2 September 1918. The military class of the Paul Le Merit became extinct as a result of Kaiser William II's abdication as King of Prussia and German Emperor on 9 November 1918. This marked the end of the Prussian monarchy and it was never awarded thereafter, however the honour continued to be recognised for, and worn by, previous recipients. <laughs> <laughs> Civil class In 1842, King Frederick William IV of Prussia, acting on the advice of Alexander von Humboldt, founded a separate civil class of the order, the Order pour le Merit for Sciences and Arts Orden pour le Merit für Wissenschaften und Künste, with the three sections, Humanities, Natural Science and Fine Arts. When a vacancy occurred the Academy of Arts and Sciences nominated three candidates, one of whom the King appointed. In November 1918 the Kingdom of Prussia came to an end, and with it that state sponsorship of the Paul Le Merit, however, unlike the military class of the order, the class of the order for achievements in the arts and sciences did not come to an end. The members re-established their order as an autonomous organization, with revised rules and processes for nomination. The awarding of new memberships resumed in 1923. Recipients included Albert Einstein 1923, Kathy Colwitz 1929, and Ernst Barlick 1933. During the era of National Socialism in Germany 1933 the order was reabsorbed into the state honours system, and the list of its members was reviewed and revised according to the policies of the new government. A number of Jews and other perceived dissidents or «enemies» of the state were deprived of their awards by the Nazi regime. They included Einstein, who resigned his membership in the order in 1933, and refused invitations to renew it after the war, Colwitz, and Barlick. Such actions were later repudiated by both the order, and the post-war German government. In 1952, with the assistance of President of West Germany Theodore Heuss, the order was again re-established, now as an independent organization with state recognition and the President of the German Federal Republic as protector of the order. However, unlike the somewhat similar Bundesverdienstkreuz also established by Heuss, it is not a state order. The revived civil order of the Paul Le Merit is awarded for achievements in the arts and sciences. Active membership is limited to 40 German citizens, 10 each in the fields of humanities, natural science, and medicine and the arts. Honorary membership can be conferred on foreigners, again to the limit of 40. When a vacancy occurs, the remaining members select a new inductee. Topic: Notable recipients. Topic: Recipients of the military class. Topic seventeen forty to eighteen seventy one Henning Alexander von Kleist, Prussian general, awarded Paul Le Merit in seventeen forty one by Frederick the Second for actions during Battle of Mulwitz during War of Austrian Succession. 
Isaac de Fourcade de B.A., Prussian colonel and later Hofmarschall to the Prince of Prussia Frederick William II, heir to the throne of Prussia, awarded on of June 1742, as a captain with the 18th Prussian Infantry Regiment von Dershau for his actions during the First Silesian War. Friedrich Wilhelm Quirin von Fourcade de B.A., Prussian Lieutenant General, awarded on 6 January 1746 as a colonel for his actions in the Second Silesian War on the battlefield during the Battle of Saw, the victory of which Frederick the Great attributed to him. Karl Heinrich von Wiedel, awarded the Paul Le Merit 1752, Friedrich Wilhelm von Seidlitz, awarded 1757, during the Seven Years' War. Charles Emmanuel de Warnery, Major General, Cavalry, in October 1756 for actions at the Battle of Lobositz. Peter III of Russia, who received the Paul Le Merit in 1762 when he withdrew Russia from the Seven Years' War and made peace with Prussia. Gebhard von Blücher, awarded on 4 June 1789, Napoleonic-era Prussian Field Marshal who led Prussian forces at the Battle of Waterloo, Alexander Suvorov, Russian Generalissimo, awarded on 28 December 1794 Gerhard von Scharnhorst, Napoleonic-era Prussian general. Friedrich Wilhelm Freyher von Bülow, Napoleonic-era Prussian general, also received the oak leaves. Karl Friedrich von dem Nesbeck, Napoleonic era Prussian general, later field marshal, first decorated in 1807, received the oak leaves in 1814. Karl Wilhelm Georg von Grollmann, Napoleonic era Prussian general, also received the oak leaves. Ludwig Graf York von Wartenberg, Napoleonic era Prussian general, later field marshal, also received the oak leaves. August von Neisenau, Napoleonic era Prussian general, later field marshal, first decorated in 1807, received the oak leaves in 1814. Hermann von Boyen, Napoleonic era Prussian general and Minister of War, simultaneously received the Paul Le Merit and the Oak Leaves. Ernst von P. Fuel, Prussian general and Prime Minister of Prussia, decorated in 1814 during the Napoleonic Wars. Helmut Graf von Moltke, known as Moltke the Elder. First decorated in 1839 as a junior officer, he received the oak leaves in 1871 and the Grand Cross in March 1879. Also inducted into the civil class of the order in 1874. Leonid Graf von Blumenthal, Prussian general, later field marshal, decorated with the Paul Le Merit in the 1864 German-Danish War and the Oak Leaves in the 1866 Austro-Prussian War. Topic: 1871 to 1914. Otto von Bismarck, Prussian minister-president and German chancellor during the unification period, decorated in 1884 with the Paul Le Merit with oak leaves. Also inducted into the civil class of the order in 1896. Leo von Caprivi, Prussian general, decorated in 1871 for merit in the Franco-Prussian War. Alfred Graf von Walder C., German Field Marshal, decorated August 1901 with the Paul Le Merit with oak leaves for his services as Allied Supreme Commander in China 1900 
Topic: 1914 to 1918 World War 1. Topic: German Air Force. Kurt Wintgens, the first military aviator ever to down an enemy aircraft with a synchronized machine gun July 1915, earned his medal in July 1916 with as many as 22 total victories. Hermann Göring, decorated as an ace pilot in June 1918, later Reichsmarschall, head of the Luftwaffe, and Third Reich second in command. Manfred von Richthofen, better known as the Red Baron, the top scoring ace of World War I. Lothar von Richthofen, German flying ace with 40 victories. Younger brother of Manfred von Richthofen. Ernst Udet, second highest scoring German ace of World War I. Werner Voss, fourth highest scoring German ace of World War I. Joseph Jacobs, German flying ace with 48 victories. His total tied him with Werner Voss, ace of World War I. Bruno Lerza, German flying ace with 44 victories. Julius Buckler, German flying ace with 36 victories. Gotthard Sachsenberg, German flying ace with 31 victories. Kurt Wolf, German flying ace with 33 victories. Heinrich Kroll, German flying ace with 33 victories. Max Immelmann, with Oswald Bolk, one of the first aviator recipients. Oswald Bolk, with Max Immelmann, among the first aviator recipients. Rudolf Berthold, high-ranking German ace shot to death by German communists in 1920. Robert Ritter von Grimm, World War I ace and World War II field marshal. Eduard Ritter von Schleich, better known as the Black Knight. Destroyed 35 enemy aircraft. Karl Menkhoff, fighter ace, with 39 confirmed victories. Ernst von Heppner, commanding general of the air service. Theo Osterkamp, naval aviator and World War I ace, also scored six victories in World War II and became a Luftwaffe general. Joseph Velgens, German fighter ace, with 35 confirmed victories as lieutenant reserve. Hans Joachim Budecki, German fighter ace in World War I, credited with 13 victories. He was the third ace, after Max Immelmann and Oswald Bolk, to earn the Blue Max Paul Le Merit. He fought in Gallipoli to fly the Halberstadt D2 and Fokker E3 with Ottoman FA-6 against the Royal Naval Air Service. The Turkish campaign was successful, with four confirmed victories and seven unconfirmed, and Budaki was personally awarded the Gold Liakat Medal by Enver Pasha. Fritz Putter, German flying ace with 25 victories. Topic: German Army. Erwin Rommel, decorated as an Oberleutnant in December 1917, later a Field Marshal and commander of the German Africa Corps in World War II. Paul von Hindenburg, German Field Marshal and later President of Germany, awarded the Paula Merit in September 1914 and the Oak Leaves in February 1915. 
Erich Ludendorff, German general of World War I, awarded the Paul Le Merit in August 1914, one of the earliest World War I awards, for the Siege of Liege, Belgium, received the oak leaves in February 1915. Rupprecht, Crown Prince of Bavaria, German Field Marshal, awarded the Paul Le Merit in August 1915 and the Oak Leaves in December 1916. Albrecht, Duke of Württemberg, German Field Marshal, awarded the Paul Le Merit in August 1915 and the Oak Leaves in February 1918. Werner von Blomberg, decorated as a major in June 1918. Feder von Bock, awarded Paul Le Merit in 1917 for efforts of leading his battalion at the Somme and Cambrai. Later Field Marshal and Commander of Army Group North, Polish Campaign, 1939. Commander Army Group B in Conquest of Western Europe 1940. Commander Army Group Center in Russia 1941. Commander Army Group South in Russian Ukraine and Caucasus 1942. Erich von Falkenhayn, Chief of the German General Staff from 1914 to 1916, awarded the Paul Le Merit in February 1915 and the Oak Leaves in June 1915. Oscar von Houtier, German General awarded the Paul Le Merit in September 1917 and the Oak Leaves in March 1918. Georg Bruckmüller, German colonel and artillery officer in von Huttier's 8th Army. Paul von Leto Vorbeck, German general who led the German Schutztruppe in the guerrilla campaign in German East Africa, awarded the Paul Le Merit in November 1916 and the Oak Leaves in October 1917. Otto Le Mann von Sanders, German general who served as advisor and commander of Ottoman forces in World War I, awarded the Paul Le Merit and the Oak Leaves simultaneously in January 1916 for his role in the Battle of Gallipoli. Friedrich Fritz Karl von Losberg, World War I master strategist, expert in the defense in depth. Awarded the 21st of September 1916, Som Oak Leaves on the 24th of April 1917, Arras. August von Mackensen, German general, later Field Marshal of World War One, awarded the Paul Le Merit in November 1914 and the Oak Leaves in June 1915. Helmut Johann Ludwig von Moltke, Chief of the German General Staff at the outbreak of World War I nephew of Moltke the Elder. Friedrich Freiherr Kress von Kresenstein, German officer in the Near East campaigns of World War I Otto von Garnier, German General of the Cavalry awarded the Paul Le Merit in October 1916. Max Hoffmann, German staff officer, awarded the Paul Le Merit in October 1916 and the Oak Leaves in July 1917. Hans von Siecht, German staff officer in World War I, awarded the Paul Le Merit in May 1915 and the Oak Leaves in November 1915. Ernst Jünger, Army Lieutenant and later novelist, the last living holder of the Paul Le Merit at the time of his death in 1998. Ferdinand Schorner, decorated as a lieutenant in December 1917, later a field marshal in World War II, Johann von Ravenstein, German officer, in May 1918 his battalion broke through the opposing line at Soissons. After capturing the notorious Schumer des Dames, he succeeded, with ten soldiers, in capturing the bridge over the Aisne at Borg intact. His troops took 1,500 prisoners and captured 32 cannons. 
Later served in the Afrika Korps. Alexander von Falkenhausen, German colonel, for victories in two Jordan battles in March and May 1918 against British troops. <laughs> German Navy Alfred von Tirpitz, German Grand Admiral, decorated in August 1915. Reinhard Scheer, German Admiral and Commander of German Naval Forces in the Battle of Jutland. Franz Hipper, German Admiral. Nikolaus Berggraf und Graf zu Donner Schlodien, German Auxiliary Cruiser Commander, one of only two junior officers to receive the highest military honours of the five main German states. Karl August Nürger, German Auxiliary Cruiser Commander, one of only two junior officers to receive the highest military honours of the five main German states. Karl Friedrich Max von Müller, captain of the famous German commerce raider, the light cruiser Emden during the first few months of World War I. Felix von Luckner, captain of the Seadler, a sailing ship used as a commerce raider. Lothar von Arnold de la Perriere, German U-boat commander during the First World War, awarded the Paul Le Merit in the autumn of 1916 for sinking 200,000 tons of Allied shipping. Walter Schwieger, German U-boat commander who sank the British liner RMS Lusitania. Otto Wedigen, German U-boat commander of World War I. Friedrich Christensen, decorated as naval pilot Oberleutnant on the 11th of December 1917. Topic. Recipients of the Civil Class Among famous recipients of the Civil Class of the Paul Le Merit in the first group of awards in 1842 were Alexander von Humboldt, Karl Friedrich Gauss, Jakob Grimm, Felix Mendelssohn, Friedrich Wilhelm Joseph Schelling and August Wilhelm Schlegel. Foreign recipients in the Class of 1842, included Francois Rene de Chateaubriand, Louis Daguerre, Michael Faraday, Jean Auguste Dominique Angra, and Franz Liszt. Later recipients included Thomas Babington Macaulay (1853), John C. Fremont (1860), Theodore Mommsen (1868), Charles Darwin (1868), Friedrich Wilhelm August Argelander (1874), Thomas Carlyle (1874), who never accepted any other honor, Max Müller (1874), Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. 1875, William Thompson, Lord Kelvin 1884, Heinrich von Treitschke 1887, Johannes Brahms 1887, Giuseppe Verdi 1887, William Henry Flower and Hubert von Herkimer 1899, Camille Saint-Sons 1901, Luigi Cremona 1903, John Singer Sargent 1908, Ferdinand von Zeppelin 1910, Otto Lessing sculptor 1911, Wilhelm Conrad Rontgen 1911, Sir William Ramsey 1911, Max Planck 1915, and Rudolf Sohm 1916. New members of the Revised Order in 1923 included Albert Einstein 1923, Gerhard Hauptmann 1923, Richard Strauss 1924, Wilhelm Furtherwangler 1929, anti-war sculptor Kathy Kollwitz 1929, the first female recipient of the honor, and Ernst Barlick 1933.
Among those inducted in 1952 were Otto Heinrich Warburg, Otto Hahn, Paul Hindemith, Reinhold Schneider and Emil Nolder. Later recipients include Arthur Compton 1954, Hermann Hesse 1954, Albert Schweitzer 1954, Thomas Mann 1955, Oskar Kokichka 1955, Karl Orff 1956, Erwin Schrödinger 1956, Thornton Wilder 1956, Carl Schmidt Rotluff 1956. Werner Heisenberg, Gerhard Ritter, Lise Meitner, Ludwig Mies van der Rohe, Percy Ernst Schramm, Carl Friedrich von Weizsäcker, Carl Jaspers, Otto Klemperer, Karl Zuckmayer 1967, Henry Moore 1972, Raymond Aron 1973, George F. Kennan 1976, Friedrich Hayek 1977, Karl Popper 1980, Emil Schumacher 1982, Eugene Ionesco 1983, Hans Berta 1984, Gordon A. Craig 19 90, Carlos Kleiber 1990, Witold Lutislavsky 1993, Fritz Stern 1994, Rudolf Mobauer 1996, Umberto Eco 1998, Hans Magnus Enzensberger 1999, Bronislaw Jeremek 2002, Wim Wenders 2005, James J. Sheehan 2006, and Svante Parbo 2008 more recent recipients were Gidden Kramer 2016, Emmanuel Charpentier 2017 and Heinz Holliger 2018 topic recipients of both classes Only a small number of persons have received both the military and civil classes of the Paul Le Merit. Helmut von Moltke the Elder, Military Class 1839, Civil Class 1874 Otto von Bismarck, Military Class 1884, Civil Class 1896 Hermann von Kuhl, Military Class 1916, Civil Class 1924 Topic. Similar orders in other countries Besides Prussia, several other states of the former German Empire also conferred similar awards for the arts and sciences. These included the Kingdom of Bavaria's Maximilian Order for Art and Science Maximilian Sorden für Kunst und Wissenschaft, the Duchy of Anhalt's Order of Merit for Science and Art Verdien Storden für Wissenschaft und Kunst, and the Principality of Lips Lip Rose Order for Art and Science Lippische Rose, Orden für Kunst und Wissenschaft. A number of other countries have founded similar high civic honors for accomplishments in the arts and sciences. The Sovereign of the Commonwealth Realms confers the Order of Merit and Order of the Companions of Honor. The Republic of Austria confers the Austrian Decoration of Honor for Science and the Arts, founded in 1955. Like the Order Paul Le Merit for Sciences and Arts, this was in a sense a revival of an earlier imperial award, in this case the Austro-Hungarian Decoration of Honor for Art and Science Osterreichisch Ungarisches Ehrenzeichen für Kunst und Wissenschaft, which existed from 1887 to 1918. 
Unlike the German award, however, the design of the modern Austrian award is unlike that of its imperial predecessor. France has the Ordre des Arts et des Lettres for significant contributions to the arts and literature. In Poland the Gloria Artis Medal has been established for the same purpose. Other countries also may recognize accomplishments in the arts and sciences, but with more general orders also awarded for accomplishments in other fields. France's Légion d'honneur is an example of a decoration often conferred for accomplishment in many fields, including the arts and sciences. Belgium awards either its Order of Leopold or Order of the Crown for outstanding accomplishments in the arts and sciences, and may award its civil decoration for lesser accomplishments in these fields. See also The Blue Max, a 1966 film